I built a SaaS startup without coding using Lovable AI, Superbase and Stripe. It's a smart note taking app that enables users to link similar nodes and visualize their connections in a graph, similar to apps like Obsidian. In Lovable AI, we simply describe what we want to build. After entering a prompt that instructs Lovable AI to generate a note taking app, we receive a prototype within seconds. Next, we set up user authentication, allowing users to sign up and log in with their name, email and password. For this, we connect our project to Superbase and integrate authentication. Sometimes an error occurs, but it's not something to worry about. Most of the time, simply asking the chatbot to solve the problem is enough. To make it easier, we disable email confirmation in the authentication provider section in Superbase for now. We can see my user ID after signing in. Next, we refine the app further. After signing in, users should land on a dashboard featuring a text input field where they can write notes and assign tags. Checking the database, we see that my user ID starts with 60F something and every saved note is correctly linked to the same exact user ID. Next, we still need to ask Lovable AI to generate a graph. And with this, we already have a functional node linking system. Then we tweak the design to make sure the app looks clean and with that all the necessary features are set up and the app is already usable. Next we want to replace the name of the product with a fancy one. After that we ask the chatbot to move the graph view on a separate page and add buttons on the top to navigate between the dashboard and the graph view. Now we integrate Stripe to enable payments. After signing up we switch to test mode and copy the secret API key into Lovable AI. We then create a new product in Stripe, set the price and copy paste the price ID, and make sure Stripe is implemented with the help of Lovable AI. We preview the app in the browser and test the payment process by signing up with a new account. Instead of being directed straight to the product, a Stripe checkout window appears. For testing, we enter dummy payment details and that's a success. The payment flow is now fully functional. Of course, there's a lot more we can build. So if you'd like to see part three, then let me know in the comments.